y'all today i am so excited to be kicking off my zone deep cleaning series in some of my recent um, cleaning videos, I've had more interest in people saying that they'd be interested in seeing my more deeper cleaning and my different zones and everything. I mentioned that I needed to get back on the routine of doing my deep cleanings. I got off of it the last few months, so things really need to be done. I start out my zone deep cleaning in my kitchen and my kitchen is actually broken up into two zones. Um, it's when I say zones, it's I have a zone that I focus on each week and each day of the week I have different tasks that I do in that particular area um, zone is what I call it. Um, so the kitchen it has the most work to do, so many different areas, so many things to clean out, wipe, um, just a lot more deeper cleaning needs to be done in the kitchen. So it's broken up into two weeks. And the first week is a lot of cleaning out and decluttering. So the first day of the week on Monday is cleaning out and wiping down the fridge. So when I do this, I am taking everything out, wiping all the shelves and just cleaning every surface in the refrigerator, wiping down the containers that I have foods in, the drawers, under the drawers, just cleaning every single surface. And at this time, I also go through and look at expiration dates. And if there's anything that needs to be thrown out, then I will go ahead and discard those. Um, but this is just a, just something that needs to be done regularly. And when I was doing this, it's like the second week of January and none of this really got done over the whole fall and you know holiday time just because time was so busy i didn't have extra time to be doing all of these tasks so the refrigerator definitely needed it you can see some close-ups where you just see stuff just all in it and i threw away quite a few things that were expired and also from being around the holidays and everything you have extra food for parties and get-togethers and things that you might not normally have on the regular basis so there were quite a few things in the fridge and the pantry that i had to get rid of so it's the perfect time of year to go ahead and take on this task so i hope this gives you motivation motivation to clean along with me get all this deep cleaning um, done and it, it feels so good afterwards if this is your first time here watching my videos I'm so glad that you found me here and welcome my name is Jen and I have a husband and three kiddos all under the age of eight and we just we're a busy family and I do all things um, cleaning organizing like organizing is life like it just makes me so happy give me organizational bins and things to organize to make life flow smoother it just makes me happy um, so on my channel you'll see a lot of cleaning and organizing um, some crafts um, lifestyle things mommy related stuff so if those things interest you then I would love it to have you around so click that subscribe button if you like those type of videos um, but I really hope that this whole um, deep cleaning series just gives everyone motivation and you all just clean along with me I did create a printable that I follow by um, that shows everything, all of my zones and everything and broken down to what is done each day. And I'm gonna have that linked down below. So definitely check that out so you can follow along with the zones with me. And I will probably, I'm not, I haven't decided yet if I will just share the one zone at a time or if I will share all of my zones at one time. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do that yet, but you'll see down below what I decided to do. But the whole purpose of the zone cleaning thing is to just keep an overall tidy home because if you have to think about deep cleaning your kitchen, it's going to take you forever. You're not going to be able to get it done in one day. And if you do, you're a rock star <laughs> and you're awesome. Um, but it really just takes a lot of time and you can't have the kids around to do all of the things that really need to be done to get your homes or rooms, you know, whatever specific room you're working in to get it all deep cleaned at one time. It takes time. 
Um, so that's why I liked this whole concept of having different zones and broken up each day of the week. So you're just spending, it really depends on the task, but you're spending maybe 15 to 30, 45 minutes on like the deeper cleaning days, like the fridge and the pantry. Um, on the specific task so it really doesn't take that long when you really think about it and it's just a little bit each day and then when you're all done it's just going to feel so much better so here i'm just showing you the final clean product of the refrigerator i have everything cleaned out wiped down reorganized and it's all reset and ready to go so this is the end of what i was doing on monday of my first week of my zone cleaning I am moving on this is the next day this is on Tuesday and on Tuesday is cleaning out and wiping down reorganizing the pantry I do have a pretty good organizing system in here so overall it stays pretty neat and tidy so I don't have to reorganize it a lot but after the holidays um, Halloween you can see Halloween candy that I still have in these bins but Halloween time and the holidays you just have more treats and just more things in the pantry um, so the pantry really did need to be cleaned out quite a bit so I was really glad to take on this task on this day because I it had it was over time <laughs> for this to be done so I'm just going through all of the bins that I have in my pantry and throwing out things that need to be thrown out and then wiping out all of the bins too. When I am cleaning out and organizing things, I did this in the fridge, but I start out on the top and then work my way all the way to the bottom. I just feel like it just keeps it flowing and things that I wipe off the top shelves. It's not gonna drop onto a shelf that I've already wiped off towards the bottom. So I, when I clean, this goes for anything, but especially like the pantry and stuff in the fridge. But I always start at the top and work all the way to the bottom. So that's just a good tip that I have for you if you're not doing that already. If you are curious about how I have my pantry more organized, more details on that, I did um, post a video last week that shows my pantry organization and I go into detail about how I have things, where everything is, what is in each bin, how I label them, expiration dates, all of that stuff and where I got all the bins from. So I'll have that video linked down below. So I would definitely recommend checking that out after this one if you're gonna take on the whole pantry project. Um, it just, it has a lot of good information and motivation for you to get your pantry back in order.
As I am doing all of my cleaning and deep cleaning, organizing and all of that kind of stuff, I have my AirPods in. Well, one, I always keep one in my ear because I like to be able to hear what's going on around me. But I have an AirPod in and I either listen to a podcast or YouTube videos or catch up on a show on my phone or whatever, but I've always got my phone nearby and I have something playing on it just because it gets me in the zone. Um, I'm listening to something, I'm not just only cleaning or organizing or doing, you know, whatever that task may be. It just kind of puts my mind somewhere else besides just um, the task at hand that I'm doing. And that's just how I work best. Um, I'd like to know how you do your cleaning though. Do you like to watch a show on TV? Do you like to just have nothing else going on and you 100% focus on the cleaning and organizing that you're doing? Or what do you do? Do you watch YouTube videos, cleaning videos to get you motivated? Um, do you carry your phone around and watch them? Or do you put them on the TV? I don't know. There's just so many options that you can do um, for things that kind of keep you occupied while you're cleaning. So let me know in the comments down below um, what you do when you're cleaning. I also wanted to share with you that um, I recently posted my weekly cleaning routine as well, which is just the regular cleaning and maintenance that you need in your home to keep it nice and tidy and clean. Um, so I will have that one linked down below too, so you can check that out after this one. Um, but that's just my weekly cleaning task, um, some of my daily tasks that I do, and there's also a printable on that if you want to check that out for yourself too. Um, but that's just my weekly cleaning and this is my deeper zone cleaning. That is my zones. I'm not sure if I mentioned it already, but my zones are broken down into nine. So I have nine zones in my house and that's like a nine week rotation. And honestly, I'll probably take like a week or two off in between before I get started on it again. Um, but it's pretty much, every nine or 10 weeks and then I'll just start the whole process over again. So it just really works out that way. And then kind of what's happened in the last couple years is I just get so busy around the holidays that I kind of stop for a couple months and then I pick it back up starting in January.
and a lot of what you'll see me doing in the pantry is restocking a lot of my containers um, I will get the unopened things and pour them into the containers that I use and that's also what I do with my um, zone cleaning up the pantry and everything is just restocking all of the things that are in the containers and if there's anything that I need, I'll put it on my shopping list so I have things on hand as far as like the basic essentials that you'll keep in your pantry and everything like that. But you will definitely see me stocking up um, these kids snack bins and, and doing all that. So. Here I'm just quickly showing you all the trash and boxes and expired things, things that I've just thrown out of the pantry during this whole process and it is quite a mess. So I'm going to go ahead and get all of this picked up for now. And while I have everything cleaned out, I'm gonna take everything from the bottom of the pantry and get everything a good vacuum. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe down the baseboards in here. And then in a second, I'm gonna get my mop and go ahead and just mop this really good in here too because when I do my normal um, cleaning the floor, I don't take everything out of the pantry to take the time to do that. So I really do it when I really give a good deep cleaning to the pantry. So here is my final of my clean and organized pantry. Everything wiped down and good to go. Don't forget, if you're curious about how I have things organized in here, more details, check out my pantry organization video. But this is the end of my Tuesday, and this one probably took me the longest, but it feels good to have it done. So moving on to Wednesday is the cleaning out the cabinets. 
On this day, I take everything out of the cabinets on the shelves and everything, and I give everything a good wipe down. You will see me at some point, I will get my vacuum cleaner if there's just more food particles or whatever the case may be, I'll get the vacuum and vacuum it a little bit, and then I will wipe everything down. But this is just, the, the cabinets get dirty. I mean, they get dirty just like anything else from time to time. And unless you just have that on your calendar that you're gonna do it, you're not just gonna think, hey, today I'm just gonna wipe down my cabinets. No, <laughs> not me anyway. I have to have it planned out and it just has to, to be a task that I say that I'm gonna t conquer that day and then I do it. And it's just one little thing each day and it just, you're more li likely to get it done. So what I'm doing is moving on to each cabinet, wiping everything down. And I also take this opportunity to get rid of things that I really don't use anymore. Um, sometime, sometimes I'll just move things around or it doesn't really have a good spot or whatever the case may be and I just never use it. So if I come across something that I just never use, I'll just get rid of it. And then it just makes me feel better because it's not in the way anymore and everything that I have is usable and it's easy to get to and it's organized. So it's good to have that time to go ahead and declutter, get rid of things that you don't need anymore and give everything a good wipe down. Like I mentioned, I am starting in my upper cabinets and then I work my way down to my lower cabinets. That's just what I mentioned at the beginning of the video. I always start at the top and then work my way down to the bottom. Most of my cabinets stay pretty organized in the way that I keep them, except for this corner cabinet. <laughs> it's probably because it's like a deeper cabinet. I can store quite a bit of things in there that I, like towards the back that I don't need on the regular basis, but this cabinet is accessed daily, multiple times a day. This is like our medicine cabinet at the top. It has our vitamins and all of our daily meds that we take. It has our coffee and our creamer and mugs and everything like that. So this cabinet is used and it is used a lot, especially if a kid's sick, then another medicine will get thrown up there, medicine cups thrown up there, and it just needs to be cleaned out from time to time. So this one really needed it. So I was excited to have this cabinet cleaned out and organized back to where it's good and functional.
Now this cabinet, I, I think I struggle with the most because it's things that I don't use on a regular basis, but it's things that I will use for baking and different like roasting pans and things like that. I don't use these things all the time, but I have to have them because I will use them <laughs> from time to time. So it's just figuring out how to make all of this work. Um, and so it's pretty good and it's not that bad because I don't grab from them all the time. And so when I do, I just have to move one or two things and then I can get to it. But it took me a minute um, to figure out how I wanted it and I kind of rearranged it a little bit, but this is the cabinet that I really only use maybe a couple things out of it on the regular basis. So my corner cabinet, my Lazy Susan here, I ended up getting rid of a few things in here and kind of reorganizing it because it does get a little things out of place in here sometimes too. So I just kind of redid that a little bit. So here I'm just showing you the things that I got rid of from the cabinets. There's things that I no longer use or we just have too many of and you just can't use that many. So that's everything that I'm getting rid of from the cabinets. On Thursday is the day that I will clean out all of the drawers. Pretty much doing the same thing that I did to the cabinets the day before. Um, I'm just going to pull everything out of the drawers, give it a good wipe down, clean out, and reorganize them, putting everything back in, and getting rid of anything that I just don't really need or use anymore.
on this day of my zone cleaning, um, I will also, I didn't show a video of it, but I also wash my aprons and oven mitts and everything just because they get dirty. You don't think about washing them all the time. So I use this day in my zone cleaning to get those washed and then put back in place. And then here is everything that I am getting rid of from the drawers. Not too much, but I just came across some things that I just never pull out to use. So getting rid of these things. On Friday, which is the final day in my zone one cleaning week, I don't do anything on the weekends. So my zone cleaning is really just Monday through Friday. But um, on Friday, I will clean out, wipe down and organize the sinks, um, the cabinets under the sinks. So that's what I'm doing here, getting it all wiped down and organized. The cabinets under the sinks can get really cluttered up and messy really fast. I'm sure that everyone has that problem too. So this always, always needs a good cleaning.
in my kitchen I have my main sink over here which is the cabinet that I'm working on now and then I also have a small prep sink in my island so I'm going to be cleaning out that one as well um, that one has a lot of like trash bags paper products ziplock bags um, foil all that kind of stuff so I'm going to be cleaning under that one next I am really excited to be sharing this whole um, zone deep cleaning series with you. I think it's just going to give a lot of you a lot of motivation and maybe some ideas to implement something like this into your homes. Um, it will all probably be a little different than what I do for my home because it's all about the spaces that you have, what you need to focus on. Um, but some of the, the things like the basic things that you will do are gonna need to be done in any home. So it's a really good guideline to go by. So don't forget to check out the printable down below. And I just hope that you all just kind of jump on it too and clean along each week with me. I'm going to be sharing my zone deep cleaning each Tuesday. Um, if I get behind, which could happen because it's life and things happen um, but I do plan on sharing them each Tuesday of the week for my nine zones So I also don't know how I missed it, but on the days that I was cleaning the cabinet shelves, I completely forgot about this cabinet up here. So on this last day of the week, I was just going back and wiping down this cabinet too, which is like our water bottles, lunch making station. And if you're curious about that, I do have a video where I cleaned and organized and show you my lunch making station and everything for the kids. So I'll have that link down below too, in case you're curious, but I went ahead and got this cabinet cleaned out too. So this is going to wrap up my first zone, my first week of my zone series of the kitchen part one. So look for next week will be part two of deep cleaning the kitchen and I will talk to you soon and hope that you jump on and deep clean with me. Until next time, bye guys.